going to show you how to replace a door mirror. Typical problems could be uh, backing out of your driveway, getting it caught on the driveway, or kids running into it with a bike, um, getting too close to someone in traffic possibly. But uh, I'm going to show you how simple it is and how you can save yourself a lot of money. Um, let me, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you're going to use some real simple tools. I got a flat screwdriver, uh, eight millimeter wrench, eight millimeter socket and ratchet. Uh, the first thing you're going to do, on some models it may be necessary to take off the door panel. If that's the case, you'll look for hidden screws. There's hidden screws underneath here. There's hidden screws underneath this panel. And then the rest of the door panel snaps in place. So if, that, if that's the case, you'll just look for your hidden screws, start to pull this panel off. Uh, in this particular model here, we're lucky we don't need to do that. So the first thing is to just uh, gently pop this cover off. It comes right off. As you can see, we have one, two, three screws and a plug. So we'll begin to remove those. Okay. Right now, I'm right now I'm removing this screw that holds the plug in place. You can use one of your use your flat screw uh, screwdriver there to release the pin. Door mirror unplugs. That'll just hang there. We'll go around to the other side. Then the mirror will slide right out. Your plug will come right through it. At this point, I'm working the plug through the hole, and then it's out. Okay, here we go. We now have our replacement mirror which we purchased at Specialized Parts Planet at a discounted price. We're going to slide this around, line up the plug through the hole, and we're also going to line up the three connecting points, bring those through the mirror. Once we have it in place, you'll see the, the three studs are right there visible. We're going to take the screws that we've already removed. First, the first run you can put them on loosely, finger tight. In there. In this case, we're going to plug the mirror back in. We're all connected now. Line this hole up with that third stud. Okay, now that we got them all on there hand tight, we'll take our ratchet and socket here, change directions, put it nice and snug tight. You want to be careful not to over tighten it, as you could break off one of the studs. Last thing you're going to do is take your, your, your cover, slide it back in place. It's going to slide in. There's a tab there which matches up with here and a clip that clips into the top section. Real simple. Put that in place. Good to go. Okay, so what we've done here today is we've, uh, we're able to purchase a mirror from Specialized Parts Planet for about $75 to $100. Uh, brand new, that would have been about $350, so we saved you some money there. Uh, we just showed you how to install it which uh, took about five minutes if that. Uh, you, you would probably pay about an hour's worth of time at a dealership at about $150 an hour, so we saved you some money there. So if you need any part for your car, any kind, any make or model, uh, visit us at SpecializedPartsPlanet.com or give us a call.